Hello there my fellow Holotable Heroes and welcome to another Conquest video guide. You will be able to find this and all my other Conquest guides on my Swag of Life website. So if you haven't seen it yet, go ahead, check it out. There will be a link in the description uh, below. So here I am in Sector 3 and I've already covered the Sector feats in an earlier video. Again, check out my website if you want to see that one. In this one, I'm just going through my mini boss and final boss and this is sector 3 and this is where things start becoming a little bit interesting especially star killer oh boy uh, so we'll just start with this uh, let me show you the data disk that i will be rocking uh, for the mini boss battle here in sector 3 so i am rocking uh is it two zealous ambition data disks one two two entrenched data disks heal over time and fortified only grade 45, maybe that's why I'm struggling a little bit here in Sector 3. Uh, but I was able to get this done. However, uh, in order to get this done comfortably, I did have to equip a health pack consumable that gives me extra 55% max health. Because remember, Zalas Ambition, Data Disc, the more health we have, the more offense our support units get. And because Mara, at the start of the battle, she goes first, she can put critical damage immunity on uh, her allies. And then when you unload that AoE from Dash, you don't critically hit because of their critical damage immunity. Uh, so it wasn't enough that you can, you know, one shot uh, the entire team. That's why that extra health for med pack. If you're struggling, you know, I, I suggest uh, you equip it. I got it for free anyway uh, from the thing, the, the reward track anyway. So it was uh easy for me to just equip it if if you do if you got something else you can just pick it up on the scavenger nodes i just think it's well worth it so you know you don't need to have headache with these guys we're going up against a proper star killer team under pulp's lead pulp mara are crazy here uh now in turns of the feats we have to win with boba fett sign of jungle surviving so this is it just seems like a theme of this conquest where the pairing between feats and bosses is just totally random. Do you remember the beginning where there was actually some lore connection between boss fights and feats and everything? Now it just seems like all totally random. And Hoki Religions win without using any Jedi Seed or Unlined Force users in your squad. Straightforward feats, I guess. Unleashed the modifier, which means Star Killer's Omicron is activated. Probably should say plural Omicrons, because I'm pretty sure that all three uh, are active, because I think his buff dispel uh, is mass one, so it works. And if it's not enough, they also over prepared, yikes. Uh, now, the theme that I end up uh, choosing to do this, uh, all with both feats in a single battle, is this one. Initially, uh, I used Malak actually instead of Brood Alpha, but hey, Malak is Sith, so they didn't count for Hoki Religions. So I checked Malak out and put in Brood Alpha in there for the pre-taunt. Um, also, Brood Alpha is a support unit, so it can do some damage. Otherwise, you can use any pre-taunt, really, uh, that can handle it. As long as they're not unaligned for user, user, Sith, or Jedi. The reason why I'm going with Admiral Throne lead here is because whenever Empire allies uh, are debuffed or resist a debuff, they gain 20% turn meter. Mara starts off with her AoE, giving tenacity down on everybody. Throne gains 20% turn meter. Then uh, uh, Palpatine comes in with his AoE. He can stun Throne, right? That's more debuffs, more turn meter. So that is really allows Throne to get a quick turn in here. Uh, and then the other guys, Dash is there for his big AoE. Brood Alpha has mentioned before for the pre-taunt. And then Watambor will put Tank Tech on Throne just in case Throne gets stunned. The throne, once he gets a turn, he cleanses stun and then he can give turn over to Dash and let Dash do what Dash does with Zealous Ambition Data Disk. And um, old Boba is there just for the show, really. All right, so let's go. Uh, tank Tech over on throne so he can cleanse himself when he gets a turn. Mara gets her debuffs out, which means turn meter there for uh, throne. Here comes the stuns. Now, throne gets a turn. I will give a turn over to Dash, so Dash can go ahead and unload his big AoE here. Come on Dash, what you've got for me? Boom, 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 boom. Phew. Okay, so we're just down to Starkiller and Old Ban. Um, so I think we should be good uh, to go here. Okay, perfect. Um, again, we got bonus turn meter from the Mind Tricks from Obi-Wan. Obi just go ahead, 
fracture there, um, Star Killer. This took it down because thrown as well as support, so there is some bitch that is boosting damage. And that's how I completed uh, both feats uh, in a single battle. I've already done all Boba before while I was testing, that's why it didn't come up, but this will complete both. And now we are ready to go uh, up against final boss. Uh, so in terms of the data disk, pretty much uh, running the same thing. Two Zealous Ambition data disks, free entrenched. I did pick up now Green Fortified uh, and then Vitality as well for some extra damage and survivability. We are facing a limitless, infinite horde of B1 droids. So that's where you can also then farm your global B1 uh, droid feed. And you have to win with both Nas surviving and then win without using a Galactic Legend in your squad. Because Boss Nas is not a Galactic Legend, you can uh, do this uh, both feats in a single battle as well. Now in terms of the modifier, get out of here. So what we get is uh, an event ability and then whenever we use it, the battle ends. And then for each 20 droids we defeated, we get a star. But if we use it before we reached obviously one star, it will end uh, in defeat. Uh, now, uh, in terms of the enemy modifier, activated droids. So at the start of the battle, they will constantly uh, be summoning B1 droids. So you defeat all five of them, five more come up. Defeat five of them, five more uh, come up. Uh, and they also get some boosts, as you can see. They get extra health, protection, and so on. And yeah, we only get get out of here ability anyway. So that's what would allow us here, uh, mostly to cheese those B1 kills for global as well. I'm um, going in with Padme, Echo Tech, they're all support, so they should be doing some nice damage with Zealous Ambition Data Disc. Kenobi there just to keep Boss Nas alive, but I was surprised. Boss Nas quite tanky for a 3 star gear 11 unit. And here we go. I'm just gonna go ahead, um, just hit full auto at this point, and we're just gonna let AI do what AI does. As you can see, no issues taking these guys down. But I do believe the more you defeat them, the tankier they get. So eventually it started to slow down. Um, so I just ran the clock until I reached uh, 20 because I didn't want to record for full 10 minutes and maybe still come up short at 60. I just did that uh, with my droids in my sector free video that I've shown you uh, how I got here free stars. Again, this is one of those things, you know, if you're struggling to get more than one star defeating, uh, you know, 20, then just take your one star, you can always come back later and then uh, get that third star. So as you can see here, um, here on the crate it shows that I defeated 25 uh, droids, which means if I go ahead now and use get out of here, the event ability right there, then uh, I uh, this battle will end and I will be granted one star. So you can see, used it, got a star, boss Nas surviving, did not use any galactic legends, so both feeds done in a single battle really without much problems here and there you go guys that's all in this video what i wanted to show you hopefully it was useful and helpful uh, as you can see here in sector 3 with the right teams you can get both mini boss and final boss all the feats in a one battle no need to do multiple attempts thank you for watching uh, otherwise i'll see you in sector 4 videos tomorrow but until then have fun enjoy life and may the rng be with you my friends